getting swipe. Is it true? Ring. Were you expecting me to say anything? No. Hello, this is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How you been? Well, lonely. That's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I got you. so what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah. It's made to look like the stat that statue, the finger, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the- I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers in and tied it instead. Papers? Is that evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until, until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner, something good. Like, burgers! I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting. Maya. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9 to 27am. Wow. And it's 40 minutes before that. Oh, no, 30 minutes. <clears throat> now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see this right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho ho. You are not cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Ho ho. My dear Miss Faye. I am so, I am so very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you, you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Whoa. Oh, come on. Damn. Who's this guy? Well, somebody killed- somebody killed Miss- Red, killed white, and blue. Mia America! Somebody killed Mia Faye, basically. Our own mentor's dead. And whoever whoever that other person is is gonna have this, that Mia was talking to on that phone call is gonna come to the site of a of uh oh dead. I'm late. Huh? That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was home her, so we should all so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. That smell. Blood! Sob. Sis. Someone's there. Who's there? Oh. Chief? Chief? Chief! Who this? Who are you? dropped our cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Again, well, actually, now we have something new. This is uh, this time we're not in a core room, so we can actually like do something called investigating. Yeah, we can actually move around, we can uh, ex 
examine the surrounding area. There's light. So it looks like our office is a mess, and there's obviously some dead corpse, and look what, look what we got here. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again. Yeah. All you need to do is just go around checking places. Think, when you see the exam button pop up, then you should examine. I think your statue that Larry gave me at the end of the some first turnabout. They seem to be the remains of the last one. Alright, so there's a broken light stand here. Like the corpse. They already did. They already do that. Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but are there are any clues here. She was struck on the head of the woman. She probably died instantly. The thing you're lying next to her must have been a murder weapon. There you go. And there are some glass shards near the chief's body. There must be pieces of glass light stand. A glass light stand lying broken in the back. That seems unclear here. A piece of paper? It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? I actually looked at I actually looked at around the area and actually just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. The word, the word is written on this one. Blood of the scarf paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store. Dated yesterday. That's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl is doing here. Alright, so wait. Ah, examine the phone, right? Yes. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. What? Looks like someone was halfway through talking, taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick. Huh? What was that? Someone screaming from the other side from the other side of the window? Uh, uh something's wrong with her hand. So, she's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Where'd she, where'd she go? I put her right here, there on the sofa. Uh oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought that'd be a use for evidence like this outside the door. Yes, you can actually present. If there's a person in the same room that you're in, then I would say very can present evidence to that so person. Mia died, she wrote a message for her. She wrote on the back of this receipt. That's my name. But why? Why would she write my name? Please, just call me. Why would she. Why would Sis write my name? Well, now I've done it. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, you wee. Oui. Really? The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Alright, I'm, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, you see. Uh, you receive a report from the building across the way, see? You got a person saying they saw a murder, see? Must have been that woman we saw. Anyway, I don't wanna. Either of you moving one inch, okay, see? That's great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek. Does this word Maya me here mean anything to you? Um, that, that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note on this here note on in her own blood, see? With a dying blood. And she wrote down the killer's name. Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Oh, no. 
Gumshoe was arresting Maya Faye. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for the visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. So, now we have a new place. This is the detention center. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up in like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Are you going to? Of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up! Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Be able to, well, you were able to talk to Maya back in the office, but didn't There's something I've office. been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what uh, acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. <clears throat> in training. A spirit medium. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Tell me about the day of the murder. Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. A clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation's on my cell phone. It. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Oh, thank God. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on the cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that the that detective took my phone cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. Alright, you are not so you don't forget, okay? Especially the women have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So Mia was into the stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers are first class too. I had no idea. Wait, what? So you're a real, honest, good spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can you contact me or spirit then? Ask her who, we can just ask who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that. I thought that would be too easy. Um, something that mattered. Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is 
the address of the famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. You think you could go ask him to represent me? I'll accept. Sure, why not? I'll go ask him. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? Ah, uh, see. Don't worry, leave it to me then. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow. At 10 a.m. What, oh, tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. Well, when will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'd be back. Well, first, could you tell me about the day of the murder? I'm sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. I'm warning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to first thing with the same thing again. Else. Alright, we gotta go to this girl. We gotta go to this, uh. Gross. Bird. Disgusting bird. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't, she couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention, I run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. But first, let's examine this picture. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. That oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at, either for that matter. Is there anything... is this... A solid mahogany desk. What's my polished deep luster? Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. No, not for, not for now. Now we gotta... no, wait, yeah. Go back here. Well, you first... well, don't you first wanna go to the Bay Law Office to get that fucking dumb shoe. The office is filled with police officers. All bu busily searching for police. Hey! You there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. I'm sorry. Did I know you from somewhere? Wait. You're that butts guy, aren't you? Uh, no. No, no, no. Phoenix right. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? <laughs> guess I got that wrong name. Got the wrong name, Mr. Right. Sorry about that. The butt- that butts guy. He was a killer. And- and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. innocent. Um, right. And you were... Oh, um, Gumtree, was it? Detective Gumtree? Gumtree? Gum doesn't grow on trees, pal. And I'm the one in charge here, so don't push your luck. Whatever you say, detective. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go ca calling me Dick. Hey, Dick! Get over here. Yes, sir. Be right there. Um, ahem. <clears throat> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Who? He thinks I'm Moyo's lawyer. Moyo's lawyer! I can't read. Okay, so... About Mr. Don't you want to request, don't, don't you request the cell phone? Did you do an autopsy? You, you want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report. But that's all. Okay. Alright, so let's see the report then. Um, about mine. And why do you have 20 minutes? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal. But this is one trial you're not going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the pr prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, being a lawyer and all. Who's this Edgeworth guy? First, let's check that autopsy report. Single blunt force trauma, death was instantaneous. Instant at 9 p.m. Alright, so um, let's present this. I was wondering, did you see did you see my face cell phone? Oh that? I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. Uh, I tell him not so straight. Come on. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. But what should I tell him? 
is something the matter? Oh, no, um, that carrying strap on, her, on the cell phone. This? It says, the Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai. That action show here on TV. Yeah, you see that strap is a collector. Right now. She, she was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That's what she said? Um, yes. Okay, well, I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Well, we got our phone now. Check the court record to hear the conversation. I guess I'll ask all the questions I need oh, to. Didn't know about the Edward guy first. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on taking talking to the witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. That's our witness, okay. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah. Miss April May. I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, eh? So, you sent her home already? Ed? Ha! You're trying to- you're a lawyer, you chicks- You lawyer! Lee tricks on me now! She's not gonna- She's not going. she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel? Across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Well, he just told well, me exactly what I needed, and we'll, well, we need we'll go in there in the next part, so I'll see you after that.